I'm finally gonna go visit Aniba in Hollywood. I've been wanting to go for a long time. I'm kind of interested to see where it's at in LA, what the atmosphere's like, where is parking. So if you haven't been there, this video is gonna hopefully give you some pointers. So hope you enjoy this episode and we're gonna have some fun. All right, I'm here with Missy, and we are gonna head down to Neva, check out the new store, and um, I don't know, go record shopping and see what we can find. Hopefully, there's some deals, though. I mean, I can't. I don't really want to spend 40 bucks per album, which that's kind of what they're starting to charge. Like, how much was the Adele one? Uh, I didn't buy the new Adele, but I'm pretty sure it's probably like. 50 bucks. Oh my goodness. Are you gonna buy it or? Uh, if it's out there. Oh, okay. Uh. It's gonna be there. <laughs> Are we, I wonder if we're almost near because this is kind of where they used to be. Sunset in Hollywood. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay guys, the parking situation, you just gotta find a spot on the street. We're gonna walk, we're about a block down. There is a tent city right there. All right guys, in the big city. It looks like they remodeled this whole area. I mean, I haven't been here in that long. All right, guys, here we are. There's the Pantages Theater, which I've seen a few shows there. And then there it is, wow. So close, and they have the new sign up. They just put it up. All right, guys, I'm finally here at Neva. We are gonna go looking for some great records, hopefully, we can find a really good deal and find some really awesome music. I'm excited. All right, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, yeah. That's decent. I thought it was gonna be like 40 or something. I know. <laughs> I'll come back for you. <laughs> yeah.
looking at my basket and I can't get everything. Before I go in the house and uh, see everyone, all my kids, I would like to show you what I got. Now, our trip ended pretty fast because we wanted to get back before traffic, so we weren't in LA for too long. Uh, I had a lot of fun and I'm kind of tired from the drive back. It took about two hours to get home just because of traffic. Usually it'll take about an hour if there's no traffic. I want to show you what I got. So here's my little Aniba, what's in my bag. So a lot of the records I got were the ones I really wanted. They were on my wish list, and finally they were in front of me and I could get them there with no shipping costs. So I finally got the Texas Sun, Coco Band's album, Leon Bridges. Now this one is just super nice, and this was for $17, so I thought it was a really good deal. And that is a really great album. Um, I got Explosions in the Sky. I've been wanting this one on vinyl for a long time and they had like every Explosion in the Sky album there. So it was really um, cool to finally get it. This is one of my favorites from forever ago. So it's great to finally own it. Then I got Maisie Star. Now she's been kind of hard to find online. It's been pretty expensive. And this was for, and it, it was pricey. This was for $27. and. Um, I knew online this was gonna be hard to find, so I got it. And that's that's the one where I'll listen to it like in different moods, like specific moods, I play that one. Uh, and then I got a CD. You know, I was thinking about getting more CDs, but I just wanted vinyl this time around. I got Miss Anthropology by Grimes, $5. And then I finally got a little um, cleaner for my stylus. So I've been meaning to go on Amazon to get this and so it was cool, it was just there. Now Aniba had everything. It felt like they had everything except for those really hard records that are like really hard to find online. They didn't have those. But if it's a new, anything new they had and they didn't just have one, they had like 10. They were fully, fully stocked. So pretty much what I got and uh, you know I didn't find I didn't really look in the clearance. I didn't look in the use section. They just had everything new, so got what I really wanted, and I didn't really, I didn't really, I don't know, I wasn't in the mood to take a chance on anything, because <laughs> everything kind of cost a lot. So this Aniba was more polished, more put together, more organized, less grimy, but you know what? I miss that grime. I miss the chaos. I miss, <laughs> it seemed like the prices were cheaper, but, Hey, last time I went, it was like five years ago. So five years ago was a long time ago, right? Okay, just a recap of the whole Aniba experience. Okay, so one thing I was worried about was parking. And you no longer have the luxury of parking underneath Aniba, like the old store. Um, there's parking garages in the area and they validate parking. That's pretty much it. So there was two albums I grabbed and I was totally gonna get, but they were both $40. And it was like, should I get two vinyl records or can I get four? And so um, I'm gonna hold off. I got, I wanted the Cure's Greatest Hits, too expensive. I think I can find a better deal somewhere else, even if it's used, I don't mind. And then I wanted the Cigarosis Untitled. I had the CD, but I, you know, I had such a great experience with the album Leaf album of just coming alive on vinyl. I have a feeling it's gonna be the same way with Untitled, 
but $40, I'm like, I couldn't do it, guys. <laughs> These prices of records are just getting out of control, and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm glad I have the albums I do have and the records I do have, and I'm just holding out for the deals. <laughs> Um, so pretty much I'm excited with what I got and these are records I'm gonna listen to multiple times I already know it. I didn't buy any surprises sometimes you know I'm in the mood for like what is this so I think next time if we do go back to LA and look at records we're gonna go to more smaller shops and I think we'll be able to dig a little deeper and find maybe more unique stuff more unique finds so that's pretty much my it. Let me know if you have any questions about Aniba's LA location.